um, looking for internships whilst I was at university and a few friends suggested Deloitte. So I looked on their website um, and a few other companies, PwC, all the big four. So I was looking on their website and came across Actuarial. Um, I was already taking a maths degree, so it seemed, seemed to fit. So I actually did a summer scheme and then it kind of followed on from there. I started to study accountancy. Um, and I found out uh, by virtue of a few friends who chose the actual science route and they just, after about a few, one and a half, two years, they just seemed uh, a lot more passionate about what they were doing. So I borrowed some textbooks from them and worked through it in my free time and really found it a lot more challenging and uh, exciting. So I changed the course of my career. While I was doing my A-level uh, maths, um, our maths teacher gave out a kind of newspaper article, it was a photocopy of a newspaper article, and the headline just said, um, actuaries earn more than barristers. And so it's the first time I'd ever heard of what an actuary was, and it was quite a headline grabbing you know, thing. Um, so at that point, I started to do a bit more research into what an actuary was. Um, and while I was at university doing maths again, I still kind of enjoyed studying mathematics, and it seemed the natural kind of profession to go into for me started a j job as a clerk in an insurance company and someone told me about actuarial profession when he heard that I have, I'm already postgraduate in maths. They told that it's in a field where I can use mathematical knowledge and apply in a, you know insurance field and maybe beyond. And that's how I started taking actuarial exams. I looked at what actuary was and it sounded quite interesting in that it was um, sort of forward looking rather than backwards looking as an accountancy is. Um, and uh, one thing led to another and I went into pensions consulting from there. I started off with maths at uni and I then actually moved to physics because I thought that's what I wanted to do but I actually realised that maths was my passion in life. So when it came to doing a profession I looked into various different professions and I discounted a few very quickly because of the intense hours at work and I always wanted to have a good work-life balance and to me this was one of those professions so it appealed. I found out more about the profession, I liked it, and so I started applying for jobs. I studied whilst I was working full-time. Um, the company gave me you know, a day off a week or so, depending on the number of exams I was doing. Uh, paid for my tuition and, um, yes, put me through the exams. And so, yeah, working and using weekends, the occasional evening to get it done. I was thinking about what career I wanted to do in probably my third year of university, and I was investigating all the options that I could do with a maths degree. Um, it was going down the route that accountancy looked like the main kind of thing that I'd want to do with a maths degree, but there was almost the actuarial route, and that was kind of raised in my third year of university with the various events that I attended. So that was really when I, be I sort of became aware of what an actuarial career would be. Um, and then when I left university, I then obviously explored that option further. I did an actual science specific degree and subsequent to that when starting with an employer continued my education directly through the faculty uh, and most employers do offer study support for that. Most um, insurance companies or you know, whoever your employer is, if they are employing student actuaries they will offer a graduate training program. Um, it typically involves giving you one day a week to study uh, at home which is nice because you're only working for four days a week. Um, and they pay for your study materials and for the cost of taking the exams. Um, so it's actually really, you know, it's quite a, uh, it's a really good scheme to kind of be involved in. 